Hi everybody, it's David Salford Vapor here and today we're going to have a look at this the Broadsword Admiral style clone uh, I've got the recoil on top of course and it's in rainbow one to one copy, definitely let's give it a two before we head down to the uh, table cam lovely, see you down there So here we are, we're uh, down at the table cam and we're looking at uh, the Broadsword Admiral clone, the uh, style one. Uh, even the box is pretty much a one-to-one -one clone of the original. Um, if you have a look around the box there. So let's pop the top off and let's see what we get. Well there's a nice felt bag for the start. Let's take this tube mod out. Of course it's uh I don't think they cloned the bag because I'm sure the, the bag has something written on it on the original. Uh but as uh, this channel's about vaping on a budget, you get what you can afford and I can't afford the uh, the real thing I'm afraid. Some O rings, spare O rings for the uh button switch at the bottom. Let's put that to one side. Let's take this bad boy out. This is the This is a rainbow one of course and as you can see um, down at the bottom there if I throw the focus out a bit I'll have to bring it up so we can see that can you see that, can you see that? yeah where it says Admiral Admiral across the bottom and obviously the uh, oops sorry about that the capstan on top Let's set the focus back down and go back down towards the table. There we go. You can still see that capstone on top of there. Admiral fake serial number on the back. Uh, let's set the 5 turn off first of all. Right, so we get the 5 turn off. Adjustable 5 turn on it. Uh, the threads on this are really, really good by the way on this, this clone. Um, they, are, they are quite smooth. Uh, and inside, because this is a 2700 uh, battery uh, mech mod, we have the uh, 18650 adapter, which is pretty much a copy of the real one as well. So it's definitely like a one to one clone on that. It's a lovely tube mod. Let's get the, bat uh, the button off, or the top of the button. Right, and then just knock the caps on part of the bottom. Right. As you can see, it works. Pressure any any side. The threads on this are so good. They really are. Let's have a look. Pop that out. As you can see, even that's a a one to one copper on the bottom there. Let's put that back on. press anywhere and it will fire absolutely gorgeous of course you can use your 18650 or your 2700 um, I'm just going to bang that back in there for a minute and the venting's down by the way on this I should have shown you that uh, I don't know if you can see with inside there so it's a battery positive down so if anything did go drastically wrong uh, and you got a vent or a firm will run away, it'd be directed away from your face. You'd have to watch your fingers like with the, your face would be safe. So let's pop that back on as well. That's fully adjustable, reverse threaded of course. Um the adjustment on that for your for your battery rattle. But really really good. Really smooth, really solid, solid uh, mod. Really beautiful and I really love it in the rainbow. I'm not a lover of rainbow uh, on mods normally. But I really like this, and I'm just sorry I haven't got an atty that's a rainbow atty for it. Um, what I'll have to do is I'll have to stick, a, stick another uh, normal stainless steel one on top. Maybe the uh, recoil or the Goon or the Goon 1.5. Uh, I might chuck on the top of this because it's a, 
I think it's 24 mil diameter on this, 24 25 mil diameter. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at that. Just look at it. Really doesn't come over on camera like it does uh, in real life. It is absolutely beautiful. Of course, it's one for the cupboard. This, it's you know, it's one for the uh, the display cabinet. Um, it will get used, but not as often as uh, as anything else. Absolutely beautiful. Anyway, leave it there, guys. Stick a battery in it. Stick a uh, atty on it, and I'll uh, see you at the top, and we'll give it a vape. See how it goes on. Hi, guys. We're back up from the uh, table clam cam clam. What's a clam table cam? Right. This is not one for you purists. You're gonna rate, give me loads of hate mail about this. I know. Uh, one to one clone broadside uh, admiral it's a brass construction so it's very heavy even though we, you would think it was stainless steel looking at it because it's rainbow it's not it's actually brass um, the contacts in it are, are silver now whether they're silver plated or they are silver I don't know to me I think they're silver plated and that's how it should have been, uh, been said of course it's got the uh, three position switch there you know you can press in different points and it'll fire off I've got it on the uh, recoil of course and on that not that you can see them if you can focus it in these are a couple of my own claptons in there coming out at uh, point two and uh, let's just give it a two before we're out else before we go on our out else oh, now <coughs> at the moment I've got it in, in the uh, 18650 configuration and we'll give that a change in a bit uh, no battery and that will adjust it at the top of course it's a flush fit button so when you pop it down it doesn't auto fire um, at all which is quite good um, I got this from Fast Tech now this cost me the greatest sum in the world of about £11.42 now when you consider that to buy a broadsword an original uh, it's going to cost around about $175 which equates to about £228-£130 now uh, well, this is about being on a budget of course this channel and of course I can't afford that sort of money for for a mech um, so what I'm going to do is uh, let's give it another two first come here come here going to change the battery now I'm going to chuck, chuck in a 2700 battery by the way it is a fingerprint magnet you know what I mean it does mark up really uh, quite a lot so before we do our else let's get this off All right so these threads are just so smooth it's unbelievable there's the adjustment of course reverse threaded so let's pop this out as you can see uh, the inner tube so you can pop in an 18650 25 out of course let's put them down now the only uh, 2700s I've got are the iJoy ones which uh, I believe are good anyway according to Mooch now just remember with this it's positive down just remember the venting so if it does go wrong it goes away from your face so let's get that down probably have to give this an adjustment I think let's check it first see what we've got yeah can you see that now it stood up miles away so we need to adjust that reverse pin and if we go in reverse let's get it right way down no what I've done is I've undone it all together so let's get it going reverse threaded reverse threaded mister that might do it let's pop it back on there we go we sat down have we got battery in that all just get a bit of cloth because I've just marked everything up. Little bit of battery battery that also I've not got quite that quite right ever, so let's uh, just it only wants a tiny bit I think. So there we go. Tiny little bit. See whether we get any battery rattle now. No, it's maybe about fine. I did nearly knock the cap off though. So <coughs> excuse me. Press 2700 battery in it. Let's give it a. Oh, there we go. Let's give it a two. <coughs> I 
you have to excuse the cough again. I still got, I'm still a bit ill. I've still got that tickly throat and what have you. But what a fantastic mod for the price of £11. I know you, you purist. Don't bump bad, man. I know, I know, I know. But for guys like me that can't afford um, the real thing, of course, we, we have to look somewhere else. And I got this from Fast Tech, of course. But remember, these are for advanced users only. And there goes my computer. These are for advanced users. Right? So you need to know Ohm's Law. Battery safety, you know, check them racks, no nicks, no tears. Got to make sure you're the safety part. You're the one that's going to be responsible for yourself. Don't let things go wrong. Don't build too low. I'm down at uh, point two, which is as far as I go. I don't go point stupid. I don't go below that. You know, I keep within a safe, safe distance from drawing too much ampage from that battery i don't care how good the battery is right so do your research go out there and you know learn what you can your own's law your battery safety how to build now that builds built by me now you know i've got that i've got dexterity problems so i have a daedalus i build my cars on a daedalus they're just a couple of clocks and cars i threw it together for the point of this review right learn to build new steam engine you know these great 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 tutorials out there one by Aries in particular go and check that out learn how to build if you want to be a Mac user guys all I can say it's for the cupboard it's for the cabinet it's a show off piece and it's a bloody fingerprint magnet but it's fantastic every bit as good as the, the real thing Right guys, I'm going to leave it there, if you like what you've seen and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, give it a share, you know, give us that thumbs up, give me some comments, come on, you know, not a lot of eight ones though because it's a glow, you know, just do it, just do it, just, just do it, just put a comment down there, you'll be fine. Okay guys, don't forget, if you're on uh, VidMe, give us that up, well, there goes my dog again. I think I keep on peeing him off every time I'm on here. Anyway, guys, see you for now. You take care. Bye.